Hi, my name is Pat McCluskey, and I am taking the Relationship Driven Classroom. This is component three of that class. And I want to talk about four things that I learned from this uh, very important class. Um, the first being um, a presentation by Bruce Brown. Bruce Brown talks about how important it is to allow your students or athletes to make mistakes but not just making mistakes, being accountable for their mistakes so that they can grow through their mistakes. So many times uh, as a teacher or a coach, um, I jump in too often to, in a mistake to correct and, and not let the student uh, work through the mistake. Um, I have to give ownership to the student or the athletes so that they can be accountable for their mistakes and they can grow through making mistakes um, and not make the mistakes uh, over and over. Um, sometimes I think I'm, I'm too quick to, to help and not let the kids struggle through it um, so that they can grow through that. I just, uh, important thing I learned, I, I wanna be patient with the kid um, <clears throat> so they can get the uh, optimum growth from the mistake. Um, secondly, um, and this, this I really hit home, is the 5 to 1 ratio of positive to negative behavior and comments. Um, I was just recently, after I uh, took a look through this lesson, um, was watching the news. And I'm from right outside Chicago in Glen Ellen. And I just happened to just be conscious of the news and decided to write down um, every uh, negative story versus every positive story. Um, and it ended up being on, on our news channel uh, a 12 to 1 ratio that night of negative things to, po to positive things. Um, and with our kids these days with Facebook and Twitter and uh, bullying, um, it just negativity is so easy to uh, come out of people's mouths and people jump on the bandwagon and this and that and I've just decided to, to be uh, one day at a time be conscious of that fact I've been coaching football all summer and just been concentrating on, on positive comments constantly um, and I'm not saying that I've never thrown out a negative comment this summer but just really um, feeding off the positivity, um, even in, with mistakes and correcting stuff, um, pointing out the positives of the mistake, um, and then correcting it, helping the kid. Um, I've noticed I need to concentrate on the positive to negative behavior because it's so easy to go the other way. Um, finding wrong in people seems to be so easy, and finding right in people seems to be a struggle if you're not concentrating. <clears throat> that was uh, a terrific lesson that really opened my eyes. Thirdly, uh, the rule of six, um, com communicating important messages at least six times um, to affect uh, sustained behavior. Um, sometimes in class, math class, you know, math comes easy to me. That's why I'm teaching math. And sometimes, um, <clears throat> excuse me, sometimes it's, you know, I'll, I'll go over a concept once and think, why, why aren't these kids getting this easy concept? Well, it's easy to me, um, but for some of these kids, you know, it, math is, is just an uphill battle all the time. Um, and I, when I read this rule of six, it made so much sense to just continue to hit home the concepts that I want to teach <clears throat> and, um, and not, not just run, race through it. Um, I'm teaching this year a class, it's called the ALOP Algebra class, and it's the, the kids in the school that um, are the lowest level math. And I need to remember this rule of six at the very minimum. It might even take more <clears throat> times than six times to, to hammer down a concept and keep getting it um, in their in their brains so that they can uh, I can affect behavior and learning lastly <clears throat> excuse me lastly 
Um, I was really touched by Jonathan Friesen's uh, presentation on the pain grid. Um, I got into teaching so that I could help all teenagers, every single one of them, 100%, not just to help the kids that are easy to teach. And um, as I look pat, back on some of my teaching, there have been some kids that have, you know, that have had um, special needs and behaviors that have been very difficult. And sometimes I, over my past 12 years of teaching, I haven't rose to the risen to the occasion to to meet those kids and maybe even go an extra mile um, for them because it's been difficult because their behavior has has um, just been too much. Um, but I just like the two things that Jonathan Friesen uh, states where, you know, with, with kids like that that are difficult, you know, the best thing is to go and talk to them, to, to have a one-on-one, -on -one, to tell them that they are not a victim and, and that you believe in them. Um, not to just turn, turn the other way and get through the class so that they get out of your classroom. Um, and there's no, you know, you might, I might meet them halfway or go the extra mile and it may not uh, work out at the moment, but <clears throat> I found in teaching, you never know how you have affected a student. And some, sometimes much later, um, you'll find out that, that you helped them in some way. And there's just no, no risk in trying to help. Um, that's why I got into the profession. And uh, it was just great hearing that um, presentation by Jonathan Friesen and just re, uh, reiterated to me why I got into teaching, you know, to, to help not only the top kid, but also the bottom kid and everyone in between. Um, these are four of the things that I really took away from um, this class and uh, just just lately have been really been a sponge and uh, just I'm looking forward to getting back at it uh, in the teaching year. Thank you so much.